Hi guys, this is Becca from J and May Handmade, and today's video is a very special one. It's part of the international YouTube soap collaboration that's going on. They did a spring one, a summer one, and a fall one a couple months ago, and I'm participating in the winter one. I'm really excited to be part of this. I've been watching a bunch of these videos, a bunch of people I watch participate in this, so to be able to, to join in on it is really exciting. Um, the theme for this winter one is Wonderland which because it's an international, it's just a general Wonderland theme because everyone is not in the same season. So Renee, who put this all together, shout out to Renee for being able to coordinate, I think 83 people in this. Um, so the, she said, you know, it could be Fairyland, Paradise on the Beach, Winter Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. If you just something that you think of when you go Wonderland. Um, I ended up going with Winter Wonderland because I live in Northwest Indiana and we get, we get snow. We live right by Lake Michigan and so there's snow. I don't particularly enjoy it, but my kids have had this sense of awe all year. They've been asking me when it's going to be winter. Is it going to snow yet? Is it cold enough to snow? So we've gotten into explaining that you know the leaves have to change colors and fall off before it'll be cold enough to become winter to snow. So now every time we're out driving, my son's like, oh look, that leaf is changing colors. It's gonna snow soon. So they just have this awe about it, which made me want to go with Winter Wonderland. So the requirements for it were you had to use the color white, glitter, and milk. So all of those have been incorporated in there. And I'm excited to share this Winter Wonderland soap with you guys. All right, so today, I'm going to be working on a special soap that is for the collaboration. It is, so it's about Wonderland and I decided we'll go with Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland sounded appropriate because I live in Northwest Indiana. Trust me, we get winter around here. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of winter. So winter is not a wonderland to me, but there's been this thing since having my kids that just, there's this joy about winter for them. My son has been asking me for days, <laughs> when is it going to snow? And so I explained to him that the leaves have to change colors and fall off so that we get through fall. And then, you know, well, it's winter and so every time we're out driving now he's like look there's a leaf changing it's gonna snow soon <laughs> so i was like all right winter wonderland it is because to them there's something magical and wonderful about the snow so i've got all my oils um go i i have all my oils melted together i know what i'm trying to say i've got my lye water here in my oils i have goat's milk powder as well as some kaolin clay in my lye water, I have Tessa Silk, which is something new I'm trying out for this, and some sodium lactate. So I'm going to go ahead and get this horn in here. They are, they've been sitting and gotten to room temperature. It's gonna be a full one. Woo, that is close. Okay, <laughs> so let me go ahead and get my goggles on. We always make sure we've got those on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and give this whirl. Um, I'm really gonna keep it very, very fluid today. I'm gonna to give it just a couple quick pulses and mostly hand stir it because I'm gonna be dividing this into a couple colors. Um, so I need it to stay nice and fluid while I work with it. So we're not gonna to do too much blending today. All right, so that is quite honestly for now, all I'm gonna do, I will give them all a little bit more blend after I get them split up. So honestly, this is the first time I am attempting. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little nervous about this one. Um, I have decided to take on <laughs> a, a bit of an ambitious soap. It's going to have lots and lots of moving parts. There's going to be a base color, there's going to be an embed, there's going to be a top color with some more kind of embedding. Uh, there's going to be a half pipe top, swirled colors on top. There's just a lot going on. And I have made more than a few handfuls of soap. But I'm going to be honest, I've always kept them pretty simple. 
So this is by far the most ambitious soap I've gone for. I'm doing lots of things for the first time. So it's a little intimidating <laughs> doing so many things for the first time, making sure I get all the moving parts working. So the fragrance I'm gonna to use today is Winter Candy Apple. It's from Aztec. When I started thinking Winter Wonderland, that just, it was perfect. It just popped up with this perfect idea of Winter Wonderland. And it is a Bath and Body Work type. I actually currently have this lotion and spray in my hallway closet. <laughs> it is one of their ones that they release every year, only around Christmas time or whatever. And people like rush to buy it for those couple months and stock up for the year. I never really understood the hype. But it, it does smell good and to me it is perfect for what I'm wanting to do today. It just gives me that winter wonderland awe feel that my kids seem to have about winter. So, just give this a little more of a stir make sure all those oils are mixed together and incorporated. I don't want floating oils on top. I want them to all be blended together but at the lightest, lightest little bit of trace ever. So, it's really, it's kind of weird making winter soap right now. It's October. And like, I'm in the middle of getting ready for Halloween for my kids. My son's got a harvest party coming up for his preschool that I'm getting ready for. And here I am making winter soap. So, you know. It is, at least I guess it's a chilly day out. It's pretty, pretty chilly. It's maybe 50, mid 50s and rainy and gloomy. So don't mind my lighting there. There is very natural light going on today with that rain. Okay, right. so I'm gonna go ahead and split this off a little bit. and get my first color mixed together. So I'm gonna do a real thin bottom layer to kind of look like the ground. And I'm gonna test out, these are new, I've never used these before. This is Cambridge Blue from Micahs and More. It's a really nice, soft, makes me think of a sweater, like kind of blue. So I'm gonna test that one. I'm gonna eyeball this, I have, we'll see. How much do you need for the bottom? But uh, split off more if you need be. I'm just eyeballing it. Never know exactly how much. So this is, okay, so this is from Micahs and More, and I'm really excited about all the colors I have from her that I'm using in this lid. It's beautiful, as well as the glitters. Amazing. Also, you like uh, my, my baby food spoon there, since I apparently forgot to grab my regular scooper. So, you know. That is one of the joys of having plenty of kids. There's always baby spoons on hand and easily accessible at that. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up real quick. See how that looks, see if we need a little more. Again, I'm on it. See how it goes. So this fragrance does not have a lot. Of, it does have some vanilla content to it, but it's only about 1.6%. So I'm hoping that means we're not going to get any real noticeable discoloration from it. Because that's a pretty, pretty small percentage there. I contemplated putting a little bit of vanilla color stabilizer just to be safe. But, you know, I opted against it. I figured. We'll just 
take it as it goes and pray it doesn't go wrong <laughs> that uh, you don't end up having any weirdly brown soap. one of the things I love putting olive oil in my soap. I really can make it hard to color things because it's got that noticeable yellow green color to it from olives. So I do have olive oil in this one. But I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna give this a little blend then to get it to a good spot. Hopefully it's enough. We'll mix more up if not. Throw some of my fragrance in here before I forget. That would be my luck for a soap with no fragrance. Okay, good night, well, just gonna kind of try and Mix it between them evenly ish. Where it's no good. <laughs> I 
least I realize it, I guess, and that's why I have this down. So anyways, back to my invites. I have these adorable little snowmen that I poured. The problem is I didn't have like a snowman column mold and I was not gonna buy one for $30. <clears throat> so, yeah, a little, little pricey. Anyways, so I decided I'd take this individual cavity mold and try and put them together to create my own column. And as you can see, I was lucky if I got like three at a time to stick together. So I'm gonna just kind of try and fiddle them in there. Pray that they stand up like they're supposed to. And we have a snowman in the middle. So I made these snowmen a couple days ago and I ended up using from Micah Zamora the Stellar White Mica. So it's gonna be really hard to see on camera, I'm sure, you can already tell. But we've got this really, really beautiful, faint little shimmery sparkle going on in there that I'm absolutely loving. So, I think we should be good. Ooh, not drop them in there. Go for it. Now I think I have too much in the bottom. Oh me. Yeah. And I want it. I'll make it work. Now I'm hoping that these guys stay standing up when I go for the next layer. So that when I cut into them later, we don't have lopsided little snowman going up. Um, I did not fragrance the snowman because of the fact that it had such a small amount of vanilla content in it. I just didn't want to take that risk of discoloration because I want these guys to obviously be like super, super white. And beautiful. So, I opted not to fragrance them. snowmen um they actually had like little faces on them that i took a, a planer and planed the faces off so that they weren't on there which i have a little clip of which also includes me trying to put them into the little column tower which didn't work too well um when i planed it off i came up with all these little extra pieces that i'm going to throw into this to make what hopefully looks like falling snow. We're gonna do more because last time we didn't do enough. So this is gonna be the top layer and I'm using the luster blue, also from my cousin Moore, who by the way, she is part of this collaboration. So definitely make sure you go check out her video as well as everybody else's. So the idea for this part is it's gonna be a sky naturally because falling snow right I guess that would have probably made sense already but just in case you didn't figure that out it's gonna hopefully look like a sky with falling snow on it so this has already started setting up some so I'm probably not even really gonna do much blending on this just gonna and stir it. I do not want it to be too, too heavy when I pour it over those snowmen so we avoid it knocking them over. We are going to use a lot of blue because I should know better. 
with yellow batter and blue mica. And don't do it right. You got green. Basic colors, right guys? I probably didn't think this one out too well when I picked my oils. Maybe I should add a little titanium dioxide to it. the blue I wanted, but we will still get a pretty blue and make it work. Alright? Maybe it'll be more of an aqua blue sky than that luster blue. We'll see. Alright, so I went ahead and did grab some titanium dioxide, which I should have had up here if I was well prepared. I really did think I was. Failed to think about the fact that, you know, olive oil is not always your friend when it comes to colored soaps. So, I went and grabbed just a little to help us maybe get a better blue color going on here. That's green, teal, whatever it is we have happening here. Okay, that's good. A little more blue and hope that this works out. Either way, we're going to take it, run with it, that's what I got. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be honest that it's not the blue that I thought we were going to get originally. The, uh, the blue on the bottom isn't what I thought I was going to get originally either. So, this soap has not colored in any way that I thought it was going to, but that is, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour these in here. I am clearly not the best planner. Otherwise, these blues and colors would have come out just as I had hoped. But it's kind of life, isn't it? You don't know why these things don't always go like you, you think they're going to, or like you really want. But I'm hoping that we are going to end up with a beautiful stuff, regardless. It still inspires me to Wonderland. And I almost, did you guys, I almost forgot my fragrance. <laughs> Woo! I I did that on one batch of soap I made. It was coffee soap. And oh darn. If I put those coffee grounds in but didn't put coffee fragrance in. <laughs> so yeah, that was disheartening. Alright, I'm gonna give this a real soft pour. these out. So, <laughs> silly me, did not account for the snowman in beds or the little bit of scrap in beds I have in here. So what I'm going to do on top 
is I'm gonna take, again, more micas and more. I have silver graphite and magic blue mica. I'm gonna take those and mix them with a little bit of oil and I'm going to swirl them. Decided if I was going to do this, I was going to go all out and try everything. And if it fails horribly, well, you guys will never know because I'll scrap this video <laughs> and do something else. But if it works, then even if it doesn't totally work, or at least it works, but maybe not the way I planned, then it goes it. Can't always expect things to go as planned. Just like this color. Yeah, it's not getting white. <laughs> I added some titanium dioxide. I tried to get it as white as possible, but silly me failed to remember when deciding what oils to use for this soap. Forgot, you know, olive oil is not really what you want to use if you're trying to make white or light colors in general which is pretty much what I was trying to do for this entire soap. So I'm using Magic Blue now, again, from Mica some more. Because the lovely Stephanie is so generous with providing things for us in the collaboration, as well as just having some wonderful products. That definitely spoke to the idea I was trying to interpret on this. Um, but I've not really have a weird little piece of scrap paper that I like, drew this up on, which I will never show you guys because I am far from <laughs> being able to draw, and it looks like my four-year-old could have done a better job on it. But I'm kind of tempted to show you just so you guys can see where I was going with it and how far off we are so far. Maybe, maybe when I cut it, I'll, I'll do a side by side for you guys. <laughs> you can see it a little bit, uh, kind of where my thought process was on it versus where we ended up. Which, yeah, maybe it'll be okay. I didn't end up where I thought I wanted to be. Guess we'll find out when I cut it. I already say it. It, it was a lot. I was, <laughs> I was hoping for a lot lighter, airier kind of blue colors. Um, to go with that winter wonderland, but maybe we'll just call it it's a nighttime winter wonderland. <laughs> maybe you're looking at this at nighttime, not during the middle of the day. Alright, All right, so we're going to give this a couple minutes and then I'll get to piping. 
just kidding. This is probably not ready. Let's go ahead and try it. Sorry if you can't see. So I trying the overhead thing so I don't look like a floating head while doing this. Which I appreciate, but then it's also sometimes hard to remember not to block you guys from being able to see what is going on from up there. soap that I am piping on. So I'm realizing it might have need to set up a little bit more. But started it. We're gonna finish it. And I think it's set enough that it won't be a disaster to have on top. It should still keep its form despite the fact that it might be just a little, little, tiny bit loose. Um, I actually, funny story, went to culinary and baking school, so... Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I've done some piping before, but soap batter is quite clearly a different story than, you know, making like meringue frostings. So, it's a little bit of a learning curve here that I'm trying to work out. So close. We, let me just call it a day. <laughs> Valiant effort. Hoping it is still going to work out. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, sorry whoever gets that piece of cloud. Whoops. So for the top, I need these little melt and pour snowflakes that I used a little bit of the Magic Blue Mica in. I used translucent, so they ended up being this cute color. Now my question is, is it going to be set enough for me to put these in? That is a cute one. So my cloud may be a little less than stellar. <laughs> but Hopefully, the whole idea behind it, of it being a cloud snowing, will still be noticeable. Um, what will be noticeable is the cloud is going to be very different shade of white than the snow inside. sprinkle a little pearl glitter again from my cousin more on there it's this really beautiful white glitter that shines a rainbow effect when you move it so I think that is going to be a nice final touch to the top of this hopefully because we have got sparkles all over the place with this one Hopefully, I can just fully 
all for this wonderful little adventure. I will bring you back in a day or two when I get to cutting them and we'll take a peek and see what they ended up looking like inside. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me on this adventure as I attempted probably way too many new things at one time. All right, so it is time to go ahead and cut this. Let's see how this went. So I'm just gonna Cut up a little end piece here first. Ooh, it is moving. <gasps> Woo! We have a snowman inside. All right. So, it honestly is not what I originally planned. But, don't think it's bad. The end piece is fun. A little snowman. I guess, like I was saying, it kind of looks more like a night scene than maybe a daytime scene. Which is fine. We have Winter Wonderland at night too, right? So, uh, my snow, <laughs> my, my falling snow didn't quite work out <laughs> like I wanted. And that poor snowman is really sideways. This one, this, this side looks good. Um, Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so the, the snow chunks, we don't really look like it's snowing. It looks like I have these weird pieces kind of stuck in there. I guess it was a good thought that maybe did not work out quite as well as I was hoping. But it's okay. I don't think it's too awful. You can see, like right here, where they're sticking out. Uh, yeah. They didn't quite stay standing up like I'd hoped. They kind of fell over a little bit, unfortunately. I probably should have been a little more... I don't know. Maybe I should have poured... Some along the side first. Before I uh, put the snowman in there, so I knew that they were going to stand up. But we'll learn as we go, right? First time ever doing an in bed. And I can't say I think it went too terribly. So, they smell wonderful. They do smell just like winter candy apple. I actually went and put 
put lotion on this morning to be sure because I was like I wanted to make sure I remembered what exactly it smelled like. And I'm happy to say, oh, hey, that one worked out a little better. So, that is my winter wonderland soap.